Hello, I am Yet4455 and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon 2. Right, so we are doing the Great Savannah mission. Uh, last episode we got this nice little tram going. And now we have to get our zoo to four stars. Right now we're at three. So the easiest way that we can do that is probably going to be uh, releasing animals to the wild. I think that's probably going to be our best bet. So, yeah, we're going to try to do that. Uh, we do have a lot of animals that have that has just been born. So this shouldn't be too hard. Um, if we take a look at our zoo standings, yeah, if we just get that up and entertaining animals, maybe number of species up, I think we'll be gold. I think we'll be all right. So we do have options. Um, we did just place the zebra at the end of the last episode. Uh, here they are right there. Um, I should probably put in a nice little scratching post, probably at either end, just so people can see the animals using them. I think they'll like that. So, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, that's weird. Um, right. <laughs> it's so weird, like, I'm double-checking the audio, and it's like, it sounds so weird, like, when you hear yourself back over. Uh, so, Flamingo number three is now pregnant, so that's another potential baby we can uh, release into the wild. So, we'll go ahead and let them do their thing. I'm going to do a quick look at the list. Uh, you're still young. There's no other camels. Uh, Thompson Gazelle number four. Five, I believe, is the child. Yes. Yep, number five is the child. So I gotta wait for five to grow up, and then I can release number five. Uh, Gemstock three is the child, I believe. Yes, you're still not old enough. None of you. Uh, Peafowl three, not old enough. And then I have a bunch of African spurred tortoises that have not hatched yet. Okay. Cool. It's weird. Yep, and there's my voice. Cool. Do 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 do. Go back. Go back. All right. All right. Now, so yeah, it's just gonna be us sitting around either getting money. So I'm just gonna keep flipping through these. Now I could get these retic these Maasai giraffes because we have reticulated giraffes. Well, uh, we could always we could always try to squeeze in bongo somewhere. Uh, Leatherback Sea Turtle, you're just a wee bit too expensive. Uh, Black Rhino, though. Hmm. And I do like Jaguars. But you're quite a bit. Yeah, 5,500. You're 5,500. All right, I have zebras. Don't need you. Uh, the Sable Antelope's a little bit too expensive. The Jaguar's 10 grand. Yikes. Cheetah, though. But Cheetah will hunt. The animals in this exhibit like these are all herbivores and the cheetah will hunt them i mean as awesome as that sounds all right what's going on with you it's the gemstock the flamingo's going to play its egg i think we'll just uh come down here kind of help out the animals a bit help out the zookeeper just a little bit yep, let's go ahead and groom you you know, it's also just cool to just walk around the exhibits, you know, and just get up close and personal with the animals. I mean, look at these guys. I mean, look at them. Look how happy they are. Isn't that just awesome? And hello, Mr. Zookeeper. Uh, that's some shrimp. Uh, ooh, let's go look at the egg. Let's fill you up. But let's go look at the egg. Where, where's the egg at? Uh, that's poop. That's not the egg. Oh, there it is. There's the egg. Awesome. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Do I have four of them? I think I have four. Let me... Let me look here. How many... Um... Greater Flamingo 5. Oh, so this is just sitting there. Okay, I had... I actually had only three. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, these are getting close to being to hatching, so that's cool. 
Oh no, Greater Flamingo 3 died of old age. That's not fun. Oh, that's no good at all. Common P file grew to an adult, so you can go ahead and be released to the wild. That's good. There's the helicopter. And yeah, it gets really loud, so let's go ahead and back out a bit. With that, um, Cheetah. Oh, man. That could be so cool to have Cheetah, but man, do they cost money. Uh, Rhino's 10 grand. Man. But I'm already at four, so. I think what we'll do. Um, let, let's see where our species is at. It's right between of. So if I put in the reticulated giraffes, or the messi giraffes, what does that do for species? The answer was nothing. We got number of animals up, so I think they're fine for now. I guess I was hoping they would be classified as a uh, different species. Oh, it did go up. Yeah, it did go up. There it is. See? So yeah, they, they are classified as different species. Cool. It just took a minute to update. So now I have some more giraffes in there, which is good. Um, I think... I am going to have a second zookeeper. And your sole job is this exhibit. That's, that's your whole job. Do that exhibit. Now, where's the other zookeeper? All right, you grew up, so you're getting released. You have the assignment, so I need the zookeeper that does not have the assignment. Uh, you. You're going to get this exhibit. You're going to get this exhibit. And you're probably going to get the next exhibit, which I'm probably going to put right here. And I could probably fit two in here if I really... Not squeeze it in, but if I smart with the space, I could probably get one here and here. And that would be pretty sweet. So what can I fit? Jaguars are a possibility. The bongos, yeah, okay. Uh, I think we'll hold off on the Ibex. It's because they're not as fun. Um, sable antelope is always a possibility. They're a possibility. As are those. Like, I really want to get a predator. I think if I'm able to get a predator, it's going to make entertaining animals go through the roof. And I, and I do have this space also that I could use. So I do have options of space on this side of the zoo that I can put stuff. I um, guess can't find an ATM. Well, I have one over here. I think I do need to double up on the ATMs. Put one on, oh, put one on either side. So yeah, I'll put one there and I'll put one over here. There we are. Perfect. And then we'll just put a little patch there. And that'll work. And the reticulated giraffe is going to give birth. That is a good sign. Like, just look how happy it is. Like, it's about to give birth and it's like smiling. I mean, I am okay with all of that. Definitely am. Let's do a quick double check here. Make sure everything's good. Because, yeah, my computer was being weird for a minute. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, so I know about you. I'm still at three stars, though. Like, I have gotten some stuff up, up, and it just changed the month over. Entertaining Animals is going up now. Uh, Tain two giant sable anim. Oh, man, in the next month. Ugh. I just spent a bunch of money, though. I, I don't know about that one. That one's going to be uh, more difficult. Because I got to get two of them. Um, you guys do have places to sit and eat. Ooh. 
However, I can turn these around so that they actually, you know, work properly. And everyone's in the way. There we are. So now they can sit on both sides. Uh, oh, all the tortoises are hatching now. Look at them. Look at the babies. Alright, that thirst will take care of itself. Yep, everything's working. Everything is working out nicely. So yeah, we got a bunch of babies. I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, come down here. I think we'll, we'll go ahead and go into picture mode. Like, look at the baby tortoises. Isn't that awesome? Like, look at them. And I still got an egg there. Look at these. These guys are so cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Surprised the other one has not hatched yet. Uh, we'll go ahead and yeah, we'll go ahead and help out the zookeeper and give him a little quick little wash. Cool. Yeah, this is awesome. Uh, Horned Onyx is going to give birth. Yeah, everything's everything's kicking off now. Um, we'll go ahead and add another tree out here. Thompson's gazelle five grew up. Um, so yeah, once you take care of your privacy and your sleep need, I could go ahead and release you to the wild. Uh, hopefully it does that soon, right? So you're gonna go sleep in the grass. And there's the other tur tortoise. Cool. Um, I think I will probably need to add in another thing of lettuce, just because there's a lot more of these animals in there now. There's five tortoises in there. That's a lot. A ton. I did not realize they would, um create that many when they made it but it's cool oh and uh I just got a bouquet okay so they're pregnant now and I just got a balloon bouquet because I think um the horn onyxes are endangered so I can go ahead and sell that for a quick infusion of cash uh, so you are out here somewhere I think There you are. And so what are you exactly? You are... Oh, you're critically endangered. Oh. Well, that's even better. Even better. And we still just got to get... So animal happiness has come down a little bit. Number of animals is just through the roof with those five. Uh, we just got to get more release to the wild and more entertaining animals. Which, like I said... Probably one of these um, predators will fit that bill. Uh, your addicts. I, I want to get these uh, rhinos. But it said sable antelope. And I got to get two of them. I don't think I'm going to meet that. I think it gave me a month. I just don't think I have enough out here. I mean, it's possible. Like, I think it's just at the beginning of the month, is it not? Uh, 10 days in. It all depends how much these people give. They give a lot of in the donations. Like last month they gave me 5,000. I mean this thing has been just phenomenal. So we'll just keep an eye on it. Like people are happy. Um, what are they saying about it? The tour was fairly boring. I like to see some desert-themed stuff. The tour wasn't bad. Featured some nice biomes. There's a three-star zoo. I mean, I could always add in stuff for them to see. Like, I think there's, like, zoo... Um, there's, like, items that are, like, just for... The tours. I think it's, like, this stuff, like this fog machine. Uh, a bat cave. Crystal Tunnel. Snow Machines, eh. Geysers? Geyser would be alright. Fog Machine. Um, I think this Bat Cave would be cool, though. Like, maybe right when they come out here. Can I get it under? No, but I could do something like this. This way they can, like, see something. Like, a bat little Bat Cave. 
Seeing the animals from the tour was exciting. Oh, and uh, I forgot. Number five uh, just grew up. There you are. Are you uh, are you able to be released yet? Not quite. Need your social need taken care of now. I mean, like, in all actuality, I could just let the gazelles run free to keep the number of animals up. But I think I need just animals released to the wild at the moment. Because I'm, I'm stuck at three stars. Like, it's not dancing between three and a half. It is stuck at three. So I think I am going to find you another gazelle. And I think I'm going to try to force you into doing something here. Uh, you're standing at the moment. Up, oh, going to be sniffed. Perfect. Yep. Go away, draft. I'm trying to get that. There we go. All right, so you're going to be sniffed by number six, which I believe is right there. So get it, get, get going here. Greater Flamingo 5 is just hatched. Perfect. Alright, are you taking care of your need here? Still sniffing. It says you're in the process of being sniffed. Maybe that's him right there. It's gotta be him. Uh, didn't take care of all of it, though. You're looking at the hay. Right, are you gonna... No, oh, still looking at hay. Just love my zoo. All the flamingos have died of old age. Except for the youngins, so I can't release them. I don't know if I'll have a breeding pair anymore with the flamingos. That'll be unfortunate. I might have to put a couple more in there. Alright, perfect. I can release you. They love the view of the animals. There is Savannah. And sometimes, sometimes they do get this desert, so it is what it is. All right, three and a half. Perfect. I still don't have enough for these sable antelope. I just don't. They cost a lot of money. Um, maybe bongos. It was all because I started getting this release of the wild. Like, once I get that up, I think with everything else, I think we'll be fine. So I could potentially cheat some. Like, get, like, a cheap animal and just quickly plop it down and release it. Like, maybe some of the common peafowls. Like, something that costs, like, $1,200. Like, I don't need number of animals. I need animals released to the wild. And, like, these tortoises would be perfect. Like, once they actually uh, grow up. I mean, just look at all of them. Uh, the camel's going to give birth again. That's cool. Again? Or was that just once? Uh, let's take a look at the list. Uh, first child. Okay. Perfect. So, the number of animals is going to go up again. How is the space now with that new addition? You know, it's still fine. It is still fine. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to meet that demand. I got 10 days to try to get uh, $6,000. I don't think it's going to happen. And the tour's not making as much as I would hope. Alright, what were your thoughts? You're leaving. Alright, it likes the animals. If it could see animals, they're pretty good. But yeah, the uh, the donations are not rolling in. So yeah, they could definitely see the animals from up there. And I think that's what it relies on. If there's animal viewage, they're good. Look at all these people over here. Like, they all kind of migrated to this side of the zoo now. Which is fine. I got This is why I have stuff for them. This is why I might need another animal exhibit over on that side. 
But uh, I just don't have enough money to really do anything at the moment. How much do these cost? Okay, so yeah, I can do the trick here where I can just plop in some common P-Files. And then... I'm sorry, here's the question. Are there trees for you guys yet? Like, in your region of the world? Because I know they have trees in their biomes. Yeah, not yet. Australia, Australia, United States. <sighs> okay. Um, I could put the lady ferns in there. Just to give you some stuff to play with. Okay, and I think that'll that'll work. It's just it's just not enough. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna make that deadline because I think it gave me a month. You can't reach the trash can. You can. There's just there's people using it at the moment. I do have quite a few animals that I can choose from. Things that I would not mind having in a zoo. Like cheetahs. This leopard. Uh, I think we got a couple more predators. Like we got this this uh, jaguar. Which jaguars are kind of cheap. Mm, it's just at the end of the month now. Yeah, I'm not going to... Yep, nope. Not going to reach it. The tour did not give me enough money this time. It only gave me about 500 bucks. Which that is not good. Vehicle upkeep is about 420. See, I mean, eventually all these people have to come back to this side. Like, this is the only way they can possibly go. They have no other options but going this way to come back to this side. Yeah, there's a there's a pretty good tip. I mean, they're they're coming. I mean, they're they're rolling in a little bit. All right, the common PFL is going to lay an egg. That's good. Yeah, I just there's just not enough time. I got like three days to get another three grand, and there's really nothing I can sell enough to get it. So unfortunately, I think um, that is not to be with the giant sable. Like, I was thinking about saving up to put them in because they're critically endangered. But, oh, man, do they cost a lot of money. Like, yeah, I need $11,000 for them. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm four short. There's no way. Uh, the gemstock just grew up, so guess where you're going? Into the wild. Thank you very much. See, if they gave me, like, half of this next month, I think I might be able to get those sable antelopes. But I would need half of this next month, I think. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, now, it get, now it's starting to give me a thousand. Uh, yep. Yeah. Interest in seeing the animals has climbed. You missed your chance to... Uh, okay. And then the month happened and I lost about three grand to the month. Yeah, it's kind of horrible. Oh, well. Oh, well. I mean, Release of the Wild is halfway there now. So, yeah, I missed my chance. I, I understand. I understand. I did not have enough money. It's fine, though. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a mail in there and then just release them right away. We're gonna we're gonna try to force this fourth star. So let's see, where's it hanging off? It's just at the end of wild. So we'll see where that puts us. Cause I might just end up doing that again. And it might give us that four star. Uh, the Maasai giraffe is now pregnant. That is good. Like all the like the animals are happy. Like that's all good. Uh, still not registered as being released yet. Like I feel like I'm close to this four star. I still did not register. Hmm. I think it might just have to be another animal. Still not. Hmm.
Still did not register. Okay. Yeah. I mean, let's start looking at what we can put in. Um, all right. So I think we're just going to go ahead and say, like, the leopard's too much money. Um, these, no. I could put the bison in. The bison are cheap. Addicts are a bit too much. I already have those. Uh, as much as I would love to put those in. Ooh, you are 15 grand. Yeah, you're not going to be... I don't have enough money to put you in. As much as I want to put cheetahs in. Alright, I already have you guys. Uh, you're extinct. You're extinct. Did it ever register? No? Okay. It was worth shot. There's more gazelles. Gray wolves. See, I want something that's kind of endangered here. So it's not going to be you. It's not going to be you. I already have reticulated giraffes. Addicts could be... Um, if I do put a predator, it's probably going to be this jaguar. Gamsock is pregnant again. That's good. Already have, oh, crocodiles. Boom. We're putting those in. We are putting those bad boys in. You bet ya. And hippos. Okay, so it's possible that we could finally put hippos in. But we're going to put the crocodiles in right over here. Alright. We could put the low fencing in. Something like that. Something like that. Then it it does this does not need to be terribly big. So probably just something like that. And then this will give me room for another exhibit on the other side. So go ahead and put a gate in. Go ahead and make this wetland. And then a little bit of water, probably right there. Something like that. Uh, we definitely need a few mangrove trees. Um, probably a couple bushes here here and there. All right, Thompson's Gazelle 6 has grown up, so you're about to be released. Just something like that. And then a thing of fish. No, uh, meat. We'll go meat. You like meat. Water dish. And we'll consider this prey thing. But in the moment... One male, one female, and I got crocodiles. Look at that. All right, Thompson's Gazelle 6 grew up. You're going to be released. So I got two more species, two more animals in. This will give people something else to look at. Um, what about housing? You do not care about animal shelters. Just fine. I mean, you guys have places to go. Oh, and um, you need to expand your assignments out to cover this pin as well. All right, so guess what? Of my zoo, release of animals is up. Number of species is up. I'm uh, like, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm so close. Like I'm a steady three stars. If I could throw a hippo in, it'd be seventy five hundred dollars. But I will definitely have the space for it. Oh, blue marlins are cool. Man, there's like, there's so many animals I want to put in. Like, even belugas would be cool. Wolves would be awesome. A pilot whale. Up, oh, four star. Oh, there we go. We won this scenario. We have achieved a four-star rating. You've proven that you can create a popular zoo around a protected conservation area without disturbing the local local wildlife. Congratulations on your success. Awesome. Well, all right, guys. This is actually just perfect. I'm around 30 minutes, so this is perfect timing. So, all right, guys, I'm going to call the episode right there. So, if you like what you watch, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps me out a light. 
a lot. And if you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you'll stay up to date on all of my latest videos coming out. And also don't forget to check me out on Twitter and Facebook. And if you guys would like to support me further, check out my Patreon page and support all my crazy projects going on over there. Right. So I am yet 4455. Thank you for watching.